Bush. We're here at Eldora Speedway for Tony Stewart's Prelude to the Dream. But kind of have a little predicament. As you can see, our uh, hauler and car are currently MIA. And uh, the first heat race starts in about 20 minutes. So fingers crossed, because if not, Boris and I are going to start building the car. <laughs> yep. Hello again. Welcome to episode five of Joe Gibbs Racing, the show. The show, ladies and gentlemen, we've hit big time. We have a logo. Huh? Huh? Hmm? 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 Thank you to Cody the intern, who is known for now two things. One is wearing orange Converse chucks to work, and the other is the show's logo. Very nice. Yes. Nice Very work. nice. Props. Now I'm going to go make me a sandwich, Cody. Okay. <laughs> all right. What do we have today? Actually, first of all, you can see... What, okay. So now we're now we're shamelessly plugging licensed product. Okay. And these balloons, one okay. of a kind, one time run on Kyle Busch's car. I kind of feel a little bit of shame now for all those plugs. I know. Welcome to Mailbag Monologue. Real email from real fans. Subject: I have spent 12 years predicting races. I want to show you my prediction for this next race. You will be shocked when you see how accurate my predictions are. I hope you will send me a fax number so that I can forward this to you. My email address is he who seen at. I will not charge you anything to show you this first prediction, but I want a chance to prove myself. So if you please, sincerely, George. So on the special Father's Day edition, we thought we'd ask JD um, if he has any special story he wants to share about his dad, the coach, uh, growing up. Um, not really. Okay, good. But uh, that's a good talk. I do have uh, one of the one, when my brother Coy and I, I think I was probably fifth grade. Coy was probably second grade. My mom left for a week to go visit her mom in California. My grandma. So we're at home for a week, and it's, the season was just getting ready to start, but it was still kind of downtime. And so what I remember, my dad, the one week of his life that he had just us to take care of, we ate not one meal in-house. We washed not one piece of clothing. We ran out of underwear, went to the store, bought underwear. And there that would go. mean wore it out of the package. Yeah. It's not advisable. What? For those of you at home. Are Meaning you, you didn't wash it, I'm assuming, before? That, yeah. <laughs> that explains those rashes. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, and then, uh, so really, for the whole week, we, it was just kind of, it was a blast. It was fun. And my mom got back and realized that he did no work, and she was not happy. But it was good timing, because that's when he started coaching again. So he was gone. That's so good. he didn't screw stuff up. So well, Joey Logano and I went to the Home Depot last week and picked out 10 things. Uh, that you can get at Home Depot for Father's Day, and we had a good time. So. What should I get? Give me the. What, what should I get my dad? What would Joe appreciate? No tools. How about a gift card? No power. I'll send him home with some paint and some drills, and tell him to do some chores <laughs> for my mom. So good luck with that. Right, we're here in front of the Home Depot with Joey Logano, and we're going to be shopping for Father's Day. You got, any, right. got any bright ideas for your dad? I don't know. I think the the grill is always the, the number one deal. I mean, I think everyone always wants to grill out, or at least for me. Yeah. I, I only know how to grill. I can't cook anything else. Yeah. Let's head inside and see what they got to say. Check it out. All right, we got some beautiful, uh, what are these? These are flowers. Mockums? We don't know what kind, but they're flowers. They yeah. look really nice, you but think? not for Father's Day. That's more for like Mother's Day. Yeah, you, think, you, you, think... should, you should know better. All right, let's, let's just go inside. I think this is perfect. What do we got here? Look at That's that. That's nice. 200 mile an hour. 200 mile an hour. I fire this thing up and blow it and screw your hair all up. <laughs> It'd be like sticking your head out the window in my car. <laughs> All stainless steel, life made easy, easy to clean. Shoot, even I can cook on that That's thing. Right. That's right, exactly. Even right. my burgers would taste good. That's right. <laughs> what are these binoculars? I mean, a stud finder. Hey, hey. Things start beeping when it gets rid of out here. Uh, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> and safety first. You need as usual. When you take off your racing shoes, you need to put that on. So. That's true. Actually, I bought a saw too. I built that bench. So, um, What's the bench for? Hey, here's the actual one I have right here. This bad boy. I wheel the heck out of that thing. I, I show it to the boss. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, last time I held a baby was at a store appearance here, and um, they threw up on me, so. That is a manly looking What'd you not know what it was? Actually, that might be the perfect Father's Day gift. Because he pleases be. the wife, he surprises the wife. You, you know, you do. 
And it, Surprise it, a wife by keeping your shop clean. You don't lose your masculinity. I mean, it's a nice thing. Yeah, because this isn't like the one you get at, like, I don't know. Yeah. The little girly stores. This is the Home Depot one. Yeah. This is the sign that explains it all. Because Dad doesn't want flowers. <laughs> That's true. We exactly. talked about that in the way in we here. When geniuses. we first came here, you know. I almost feel like you had that planned out. Happy Father's Day. Yes, happy Coming Father's Day. Actually, we're going to end on a serious note today. We had an opportunity this week uh, with the help of the Home Depot and a group called Operation Blessing to head to Joplin, Missouri and uh, help rebuild one of the thousands of homes that was destroyed during the uh, massive tornado. It was special to be a part of it. We hope you enjoy the segment. And when you get a chance, go to JoeGibbsRacing.com because we've got a ton of photos. We've got a great write-up. We think you'll really enjoy the story. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. So we're in Joplin, Missouri, and uh, normally in the show we're very lighthearted, but today's is honestly it's hard to be here and not just reflect on how fortunate we are because honestly what you see behind us is it's, it's everywhere. Like, give us your reaction when you drove through here for the first time. Uh, the thing is you don't you don't even know what to say, you know. And the crazy thing is like right down the road, it's everything's fine. Perfect. And then you come around this turn and it is wiped out. And I mean you see cars. You know, upside down. We we saw a, a, a truck earlier that that was it was wrapped around a tree, and I never seen a, a frame of a truck like that just wrapped all the way around. Your know, tires were almost touching each other. Uh, it's, so so the <laughs> one to say. the one cool thing about today is is you know um, kind of like the show Extreme Home Makeover. You know, Home Depot and Operation Blessing teamed up, and we've got Joey and some of the crew guys here. The people are are going to come back and get to see their house, and it's it's on a street literally of devastation and. The only thing I wish is we could get enough people to come do this every day and rebuild, you know, because this town needs a few hundred more of these um, to get rebuilt, and it's going to take a long time. We was so building a tree house, a shed. A shed. I was a little bit, I kind of float around, but it's crazy. Me, me and Perm were just joking about it. So they rebuilt this house so quick, and the, the landscape and everything, it looks it looks brand new again. I said, man, everyone's, people are going to be coming down the street and see all these the houses torn up. They're out. like, man, how that house survived? That's how quick you're yeah. rebuilding I mean, this. Like that. So, so it's um, it's really, really cool. So it's neat to be here and be a part. And, and you know, the Home Depot is awesome about doing stuff like this. And I mean, we were driving down the road a few minutes ago on the way here and then seeing a whole other group of, of Home Depot associates cleaning up a, a ballpark there's from, a, from the high there's school. There's orange so. shirts everywhere. That's what we're Yeah, and that's the cool thing. That's that's what you see more around here than anything. It's orange shirts. So that's, it's unreal. It's really cool. Joplin in your prayers and they need help, they need money, so help us out.